Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back for more of The Walking Dead. In the last part of No Time Left, we got out of Vernon's little hospital area, and we killed over a few times because, well, we are bitten. And Lee has benefited from the powers of the teleporting dead. And in this part, we are going to continue on through this mansion and try and find Clementine and give her little kidnapper a piece of our mind. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Oh yeah, and Ben finally put his put foot down and freaking stood up to Kenny. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. <laughs> it's a little interesting things like that that makes these characters have uh, more to them. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. They're not going out this window. The more you know about these characters. House is full too. Stay quiet. This house is overrun, too. Uh. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. I thought I remember there being a reference somewhere here. Uh. Uh. Or maybe I have to talk to Kenny multiple times. I think that's what it is. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. No, I'm gonna keep Don't doing that. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Randy Tudor. Good man. Damn fine man. Powerful stash. One of the greats. Yep. There it is. Anyway, let's keep going. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. <sighs> Aesthetics. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Oh, you did help in the last part. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Yeah. It's sick, but nothing else to say. They avoided. What about you, Ben? You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to. All right, all right. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Nothing else here? Alright. Ben! No fucking way. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? K. 
Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. That's right. Will, keep an eye out. Ow! Oh, I'm okay! I'm okay. Just get me out of here. I just slip. Ow! Oh. How the fuck did this happen? Please, just get me up. Shh. Quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. Ben. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Holy hell. Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! Just yank him off that thing. What? Fast. Like a band-aid. Do you think... Crap! Fuck! Fuck! No. Oh god, don't let them get to me! This is not happening. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. What? What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no! I am not letting you die here! Not you or Ben! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! Kenny! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. Dude, don't do this! God, you wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl! Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Yeah! God damn it! Ah! Shit, he's bit! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! Ben. Kenny. What happened? I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. <sighs> The end of two really great characters. 
You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to, all the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. That's two on him now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We would be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone means Omid and I have to stay safe for her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I just saw your friends get killed. I mean before. Back in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. Love this camera angle. Can't even look down this part. Well, by look down I mean Lee's witty dialogue. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. Meal is. That's a thing to say. I. Uh, I didn't mean. It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. You have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. God damn it, Omid. First. You're the you are a freaking jinx. You've got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Don't die, don't die. What are you going to
gonna do? Uh. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. He's right. Well, like it says, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Here we go. Clementine, I'm coming for you. Oh yeah, a little funny thing about this. In this part of right here, these uh, some of these zombies are actual people who want a little contest to be part of this little herd. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Anyway, shutting up. In we go. I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. 
there. Fine, but don't tell my Clementine what to do ever again. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? <sighs> oh, man. Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found that there was someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Well, considering the way you acted at the beginning... We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night 
So you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him. To save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in. Our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. No fucking way. I bet you don't even know how old she is. Eight. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Absolutely not! That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. What? I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Really now? <laughs> Shit! Come on, come on, come on! The gun! Get the gun! Get the fucking gun! Uh, come on! Uh, Shit! Uh, no! Uh, Hell no! Uh, Fuck you! Uh, Kill this fucker! Come on! Come on! Uh, come on! Uh, Kill him! Uh, I'll fucking kill you! Uh, I'll let you take Clementine! Come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Close okay. time. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know.
Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Then else? You okay? Yeah. But I want to go. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? Which way out? Through there. All right, all right. But what was with that bag? of this world. Might want to pinch your nose. Any other advice for her? You might want to pinch your okay. nose. Okay. They smell horrible, which means you have to too. Yuck. Okay. Oh no. soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. Missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Don't mention it, Clem. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Yes. Nice. 
easy. Just remain calm. Can't do that with Clementine here. Clem? Oh, no. you are. But we have to keep moving. I, I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Get up! I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, 
try to get up. Get up, damn it! After everything you've seen me do, you have to. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Through there, Clem. I know. There's a chair over there. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. be a uh, very interesting to be handcuffed here near the very end when we were handcuffed at the beginning but I think handcuffing him would be better there's keys and a gun you're gonna need both of those you have to handcuff the water you can kill it easy then I don't know me you can do it just be careful move around the side and jump away if he gets close Something I should mention is that if we I didn't have her grab that bat early, she would have punched the glass door, to which she would have cutely said, ow, and OH CRAP! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Kill it! You have to kill it! Watch out! Nope! Run, Clem! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! I did it. 
got him. Come here. Just for a second, sweet pea. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... <laughs> it's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. Time. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Clementine, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But you know it has to be done. You have to shoot me, honey. Please, no. It's okay. It's okay, Megan. First days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, I met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Domit and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? I'm sorry, guys. I just... <sighs> that was The Walking Dead. You and 37% of players didn't remove your arm. You and 65% of players lost your temper with Kenny. You and 19% of players surrendered your weapons. You and 34% of players killed the stranger. You and 60% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. <sighs> Desperation, fallout, disarmed, stranger. Goodbye.
defended Ben when he accused of stealing. He stood up for Ben and Crawford. Ben felt to alleyway. You asked Ben to help you find Clementine. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily. You met her on your worst day this far. <coughs> you revealed your bite to her. You told her and Omid to meet you at the train. You asked her and Omid to take care of Clementine. Doug, you were with him when you found your brother. He died when walkers attacked the drugstore. Doc, you argued that he was not been back in Macon. You let him be your psychic to solve a mystery. You shot him before he could turn. You defended his son at the drugstore. You fought him when he was in denial. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Ben. You attempted to forgive You attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck when he needed it. She shot herself and faced with her son's death. Larry, you tried to get, receive, revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. Lily, you agreed with her when fighting her at the motel. You backed her up when supplies went missing. You stole the RV and was never seen again. You chose to reveal your past to her. Wait a minute, I did agree with her? Oh yeah, sorry, the motel, I was thinking of the... I was thinking of the drugstore. I mean, you helped him get into the train. You were separated after they crossed the sign. <sighs> well, that was The Walking Dead. Sean Veneman, I s wish you were still writing this godforsaken series. Because it only went downhill after that. But I'll talk more about that when we get to season two and afterwards. And yes, in case of anyone's wondering, yes, I will be let's playing the 400 Days DLC immediately after this. All right, so you don't have to worry about that. And oh boy, those characters—very, very interesting characters that they came up with for that for that DLC. But anyway, that was The Walking Dead, so, I guess, well, it's not much of a spoiler now since I've said it like several times now, but yes, I will be Let's Playing The Walking Dead Season 2, and I will be Let's Playing The 400 Days DLC immediately after this, so you don't have to worry about that, guys, alright? So, next time on The Walking Dead, I'm going to play Season 2. Start a new adventure. See you guys, then. Silence.